internet programming we going to see about hsf handling mechanism our team members are daisy priyanka rajesh sindrala definition for hsf handling an hsf is an event which occurs during the execution of a program it disrupt the normal flow of a program there are two types of hsf they are user defined hsf pre defined hsf in user defined exception or defined by the user pre defined exception or already defined a few scenario takes place in pre defined exception they are arithmetic exception array index out of bound exception let's see some examples arithmetic exception in arithmetic exception if you want to divide a number by 0 which leads to the answer called as infinity these type of computational errors happen this will not be acceptable so that this comes under the category called as arithmetic exception a is equal to 10 b is equal to 0 c is equal to a divided by b that is 10 divided by 0 which leads to the answer infinity now this category of exception you call it as arithmetic exception next will be array index out of bounds exception we are initializing the array to be as the array size is 5 and in the sixth array location we are inserting the value or initializing the value as 90 which is not possible because the array size that has been defined is 5 so this leads to out of bound exception and the exception name is array index out of bounds exception there are five keywords used in exception handling they are try catch throw throws finally in try block it is used to check a particular condition in catch if there is any exception it enter into the catch block throw it is used to create an exception throws it is used to call an exception finally is an optional usage now we enter into the program this one is an example for predefined exception predefined exception it will be already defined class is followed by class name exception demo it will be same as the file name now we enter into the main program now we initialize three variables a b c assign a equal to 10 b equal to 0 and c is used to print the value phi is assigned to the array size now we enter into the try block try is used to check a particular condition now we uh, initialize 19th value to the sixth position we will say as an array index out of bound exception because we create it as an fifth position in the array size so it will create an array index out of bound exception now we will enter into the try block c equal to a by b if we divide the value of 10 by 0 which leads to infinity then we will enter into the catch block and shows an arithmetic exception finally we will go to an final part it will create an end of exception output for this program is arithmetic exception try again array index out of bound exception as we previously saw the predefined exceptions now we will be moving on to the next type of exception that is user defined exception okay the class is followed by the class name insufficient fund now why do we use the keyword extends exception is because all the base class of your exception will be stored in this particular keyword extends exception it is highly mandatory that you have to use this particular keyword because these are user defined now the entire concept about the program that we are going to do here is um it is just a basic concept like transaction in transaction what do we do is we either deposit or we withdraw Uh, deposit in sense to the existing amount the value is being added the amount is being added that is deposition withdrawal is to my amount to the existing amount i am withdrawing i am detecting the money so this must be shown now the program here what does insufficient fund mean is when i am withdrawing the money from my balance if the amount that i am withdrawing is greater than my balance then it should say insufficient fund 
we will be illustrating with an example over here before that public double error amount this particular variable can be used for this class now public insufficient fund double error amount is the parameter passed here and this is a parameter constructor we are using the keyword this is because we are two times we are initializing the variable error amount here and error amount here so in case if you want to use a particular variable uh, again in this particular in this program you can use the keyword this public string error is another method that we are using here now this will return insufficient fund this message along with the error amount how much amount is needed that you are insufficient of now class transaction is where the computation part take place okay public double balance because only to the balance you are going to add the amount you are going to subtract the amount now uh, public void deposit double amount now balance plus is equal to amount this is this can also be written as balance is equal to balance plus amount system dot output uh, out dot print ln is the output statement here the balance amount is public void withdraw double amount throws insufficient fund as mentioned earlier throws will be used to call a particular exception so this throws insufficient fund will be uh, throwing this exception now uh, using the if statement we are going to check for few conditions here if the amount is lesser than the balance then my balance minus is equal to balance amount this can also be written as balance is equal to balance minus amount okay next one is a system dot out dot print l and take cash you can withdraw and you can take cash here now else the other part is if my balance amount if my amount is greater than my balance that is impossible to happen in sense that only is going to throw an exception here so we are creating a new variable called as need so amount minus balance will be stored in the need and throw is used to create an exception new insufficient fund need now we are entering into the main class here class user exception demo public static void main string args now transaction t t is the object used here is equal to new transaction try uh, okay try uh, in try we are going to check for conditions here now t dot that is the object dot deposit i am depositing 10000 here for example i am depositing 10000 and the t dot withdraw i am withdrawing 5000 now is there any error here actually there is no error here because you are going to deposit 10000 and withdraw 5000 so there is no error this will directly lead to this particular output Tra the deposit is equal to 10000 withdraw is equal to 5000 now if so there is any exception here it will enter into the catch block uh, we are giving a name insufficient fund with an object here system dot out dot print ln and it's going to throw an error here finally is as they as it mentioned before it is optimal usage and we are giving a message transaction complete now i have given the deposit to be as 10000 and withdraw to be 5000 so transaction is completed now uh, i'm i'm going to introduce this now i'm depositing 1000 here and i'm going to withdraw 5000 which is not possible so i am depositing 1000 and my withdraw is 5000 it is going to display the answer as uh, insufficient fund is a message and what the error amount will be 4000 that's all about exception handling and thank you